hello everyone uh, this is a short tutorial on how to enter and exit trades on bybit so in this tutorial we're going to be showing you how to enter exit set your take profit and stop loss on bybit so firstly we're going to open the bybit app so we are currently on the bybit app uh, if there is a pop-up, you're just going to press on the small X to exit the pop-up. So firstly, you're going to have to fund your Bybit. So you're going to send whatever cryptocurrency that you're sending to your Bybit. Once you have funded your Bybit, the amount will appear on funding. Once the amount has appeared on funding, you have to transfer you're going to be transferring from your funding account to your unified trading account. So you're going to be transferring from your funding to your unified. So your unified trading account includes your spot account where you can buy on spot. But today we're going to be concentrating on derivatives. We're going to be concentrating on derivatives. So for those that are in the VVIP, so you're going to look at the details that you are given in your signal in the VVIP group. So here I have an example of a signal. So this is the example for the signal. It's BTC USDT long we have entry points, we have targets, we have a stop loss, and we have the leverage. These are all the necessary information that we need to enter the trade effectively. So we're going to go back to our buy bit. So we're firstly going to search BTC USDT, which is the first one. Then we're going to click on BTC USDT. Then we're going to go back to the trade the the trade is telling us that it is a long and they given us a leverage between 10 and 20 the leverage is completely the trader's choice so whatever leverage you decide to use is completely your choice so for instance i could say i want to use uh 15 times leverage I have clicked on 15 times leverage. Then here we here we have market. You can click on market. Then it's either going to be written limit, market, condition, or TWAP. So we usually enter the market on market, market price. But alternatively, you can also opt for limit depending on the condition of the trade so let's go back to the signal as you can see the signal we have an entry point between 26,500 and 26,650 so our entry point is in between 26,500 and 26,650 so i'm gonna click on market for now because we are, we are within the range of 26,500 and 26,550 but if we are not within the range I can select limit and enter a price that is within the limit of 26,500 and 26,550 so for instance I could write 26,550 once the price of the market reaches 26,550, then my order will be uh, filled and I will be in the trade. So here below the certain limit that I have set, we have what we call uh, the amount that we are borrowing. Order value. We have the order value. Here on order value, I am on 15 times leverage. 
So for instance, if I were to write 150 here, my total cost for the trade would be $8. As you can see underneath, we have QT, QTY, which is the quantity of BTC that I will be getting. And we have the cost. The cost is the amount of money that will be used to enter the trade. Alternatively, you can use the small circle, the small orange circle, where I can select the percentage of money I want to use on the trade. So for instance, I have chosen 5%. 5% is the amount that we usually is the amount that we usually advise traders to use. Each and every trade you must enter with only 5% of your margin. So I've selected 5% uh, using the dot. And as you can see, 5% 5 my order value is $132, but my total cost will only be $9. My total cost will be $9. So after that, we have to set our take profit and stop loss values. So we come here. We have... Uh, take profit triggered then we have stop loss stop loss prof, uh, stop loss trigger buy so we go back to the signal we have a stop loss of 26200 so i input 26200 26200 will be a, a negative 19% loss so Whatever amount I enter with in this trade, my total loss will be $19, uh, 19% if I were to lose the trade. My total loss will be 19%. Then we have the take profit. So with the take profit, as you can see, we were given six take profits. We were given six take profits. Now it is the trader's choice to decide which take profit they want to use. So for instance, we have 26,950, 27,000. So for reference sake, let's use 27,000. As you can see at 27,000, my expected profit is 25%. So I am risking 19% of my capital for a potential return of 25%. So after I've entered my take profit and my stop loss, thanks to Bybit, I get to know how much I could make if uh, the market reaches my take profit and how much I can lose if the market reaches my stop loss. So I confirm. So now I have confirmed everything. Uh, I also have what we have a limit. I also have a limit. Then I can simply just enter the trade by longing. As you can see, this is a limit long BTC USDT. We have an open price at 26,550. We have a quantity, the amount of Bitcoin that I'm uh, using, uh, I'm buying. And then we have the order cost, which is the amount I am using to enter the trade, which is 8,99 USDT. We have order value, which is the amount that I'm borrowing on leverage, which is 132 USDT. Then we have position leverage which is a 15x leverage. Then we have our take profit at 27,000. Uh, <clears> the stop loss is 26,200. Then I can simply just confirm. Once I have confirmed my order, my it will... It, it will appear in orders once the market price reaches 26500 uh, once the market price reaches my entry point which is 26550 my order will be filled and i will have a position open i will have a position open on bitcoin i will have a position open and 
if I am in profit and I am happy with the profit, but it is before it reaches my take profit, which is 27,000, I can simply come, come here to close by where I can decide whether I want to close 50% of my trade or I want to close 25% of my trade or I want to close 10% of my trade depending on how much I want to exit or I can input I want to close uh, 0 0.001 uh, BTC I initially bought 0 0.005 so I can easily exit uh, 0 0.001 then it will tell me my expected loss or expected profit depending on whether I am in profit or I am in loss. So that is basically how you enter a trade uh, effectively using the signals that we send in the VVIP group on Bybit. This is an effective way of entering and exiting trades on Bybit. So thank you.